Well, let's let's just go on and jump into it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. USC Trojans. Now they got a tough schedule early, also. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Five and seven last year. Four and five in conference. If five, you told me they started out six and zero, oh, I would or zero oh and six. I, I would not be shocked at all. I I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, five returning offensive starters. Four back on defense. Number seventy six in the country in experience. Number six in the conference. Uh, the over under for them is seven. Over is minus 140. Under is plus 120. Head coach Clay Helton, he won a Rose Bowl. He won a Pac-12 title in his first two years. But they did have their first losing season since 2000. That's not a good thing at USC. Uh, People typically get fired for that. That's right. So this is kind of a make-or-break year. Sophomore quarterback JT Daniels returns. His performance against Notre Dame, look, he was 26 out of 31 at the half. Uh... That provoked Helton to hire new offensive coordinator Graham Helton. Now, obviously, they had Cliff Kingsbury. They start working on what they're going to build this offense into. Kingsbury gets, I won't say poached, but hired by an NFL team. He was he was there less than a month. Yeah, he was an like uh, you you haven't started working on anything. Oh, I in seriously doubt that. In 30 days of your first hire? Yes, 100%. Oh, I think a lot of it's recruiting. You're still learning where the can is. Um, you might be right. So, But, yeah, they, they bring in Graham Harrell from North Texas. Uh, they got to fix their offensive line. They only returned two out of five starters. They were really bad yep. last year. Allowed 27 <laughs> sacks. They ranked number 108 in rushing offense. That is not a normal USC thing. Nope. Number 120 in turnover margin. So... It, they were minus 10. You would expect that to maybe flip a little bit. Defense needs more takeaways, but they've got to replace the entire secondary. Uh, look, they, the over under seven, over is minus 140. I'm hitting dead on the number. I've got them at seven and five this year. Whoa. Uh, so but we, we see this way crazy, crazy different. I think that their schedule, like, because of the division that they're in, they don't have to play the majority of the really tough teams. Um, and when they do, they, I mean, it's fairly easy, right? Here, I've got them winning against Fresno State and Stanford to start out with. And then losing at BYU, Utah, at Washington, at Notre Dame. So I've got them 2-4 and four to start. But then a win over Arizona, a win at Colorado, a loss at home against Oregon, a win at Arizona State, win at Cal, and a win against UCLA. So you think they're just going to go on the road to two pretty well-coached teams and just just take Ws? I think that they have got significantly more talent than both of those teams. I don't know that that matters, though. It, it may not. I mean, it, it, But this is for, my thing. I've that's got right. That's right. Seven so and five, we're, we're, we're six different. and three in the conference. If UCLA yeah. wins that game, that coin flip game, I got oh. them four and eight. I think in that first six games, I think they come away with one win. I don't know where it's at, but they're not going 0-6. No, no, no. You're but right. But they, they won't be the better team on the field in any of those six games. And I think they would against Fresno. Man, I don't, I don't know. Because, dude, Fresno loses everybody. We already went Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And you might be right. And I'm like just first game of the, the season. Typical Fresno tough team. I don't see USC being tough. That offensive line, you they used to put NFL linemen in the league. They put running backs in the league because they bullied people up front. Yes. They haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. I, I mean, tried to right. think of them without that Trojan helmet on and said, these are the dudes they're playing with. This is the coaching staff that's there. This is what I have to work with. Forget that they're USC. What do you really think? And I and I came away basically I got five and seven and here's what I came away with I think that first six games I think they're gonna win one I got no idea which one they're gonna win but I think all six of those teams are gonna be better than them and are gonna be tougher than them okay yeah I don't think and, they win any of the the road games I don't think then, they win at BYU but, at Washington at Notre and, Dame and then and then I got two road games where if these were home games I'd give them to them when Arizona State and Cal. But both of those teams are substantially better coached and better prepared. Cal's coach is an incredible football coach. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be at Cal very long. I think you're probably right. Because I think people are going to come get that guy. Okay? Yeah. You're just not walking up there with better talent and beating him. He, he needs to – I'll tell you this. 
He needs to fix his offense. But we'll talk about that in the back to North preview. Yeah, we'll get we'll get um, there. But that's fine. So what what have you got him five and seven? I got him five and seven. That's that's totally feasible. I mean, I could see that. I've got him seven and five. I don't think seven and five is enough to save Clay Helton, especially and, with and Urban Meyer hanging out. That's it's giving him that coin flip game at UCLA. Yeah. If we take that away, I got him. I got him four and eight. I mean, we'll see. And I, I just don't see that happening. And 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 I'm that's, on the other that, side. That's ridiculous. Where I can't see USC having two back to back losing seasons. But see, that's because you're thinking too much about the jersey and not looking at the dudes that are there. Well, no, I mean, I, I'm looking at the the talent. If you look at the talent, USC still has significantly more, uh, more talent than almost anybody in the conference. Yeah. Sans Oregon. But but where? I don't know about that. Washington, I would think Washington is better talented than them as well. I mean, if you go look at the, if you actually go look at the recruiting rankings, like they are, they're right there. Let's not talk about recruits from last year because those guys aren't playing. Let's talk about recruits from three years ago. And then where are they? Do you have a bunch of receivers and no running back and no quarterback and no offensive linemen? Because then you're still winning the recruiting battle because you've got all these five-star blue chip guys that are freak athletes, but your quarterback ends up on his back half the time. Yeah, you got you can't run the ball to open up the pass. At I, that I don't. Point, I, don't just... I don't know where the talent is, but I know this: their offensive line is bad. Yeah. It's it's really bad. If they don't sure that up, then it doesn't matter how much talent you have behind them. You might be right. You might be right. I've watched football long enough. No, you have to have a line. Yeah. If you want to do anything on offense. Now, they might sure that up. They might have recruited some guys. They might have gotten tougher. They might be better at scheming. I don't know any of those things. I know what I saw last year, and I know what's coming back. Those guys aren't good. You you might be right. And it scared me. I, I just think there's some coaches out there that are that are tough in this conference. I don't think they have talent in this conference the way other conferences do, but the coaching staffs in this conference, not a joke. 